Board members, welcome back. The boardroom is once again open. We're moving right along in our Kingdom Rush campaign scenarios. This is number four with Might and Magic. All right, here we go. Number four is set up down here on the table. I'm going to read out the story thus far. Number, uh, scenario number four with Might and Magic. People from all corners of the kingdom have come to the castle to report seeing portals and strange enemies attacking their towns, villages, and farms. We have a new ally in Lilith, in Lilith, and the court mages have discovered how to use our most powerful spells in areas affected by time magic. Now is the moment to turn the tides of this war. So, with might and magic comes the ability to use spells. Those should help. I hope they help. I've chosen them, I think. Rain of Fire, Reinforcements, Thunderbolt, and Lightning Bolt. I've got them here prepped and ready to go when needed. Uh, I get to start with an Archer, Artillery, Footman, and Mage. Footman, Mage, Artillery, Archer. I have to lock out a color. Um, oh, we have three spawn points this time too, by the way. So uh, just like last time, however, this time there are two pathways, so things can escape here and things can escape here. I'm not looking forward to anything escaping anywhere. We are going to press forward with our uh, adventure, win, lose, or like I said before, just keep moving on with the story. Time Roller, welcome to the stream. So glad to see you. We're, uh, we're just plugging right along here with Kingdom Rush Rift in Time. All right. The monsters are set. I uh, get to pick up my Malak card here. And get going. Start the, the campaign or start this scenario with 10 gems. Nine plus the extra one for difficulty two. Um, this has to die fully. So it looks like purple and orange are a must. I'm going to get rid of green for this round. Go ahead and put Malik's square damage here for when he does what he does. Um, looks like this all has to be tower damage because Malik can't get over there in one, two, one, two. He can only get so far. Uh, maybe I have to employ a hero from the bench this early. We don't know what we don't know. Let me take out those healers on this tile. We upgrade. All right, mage. Um, the best place for a mage is going to be on this purple tile here, I believe. Oh, you know what? We might use a hero early. We might use Alaria. You can go one, two, three, jump on this tile, use her cat here, throw some damage over here because she can do damage two tiles away or two spaces away. I think, Alaria, you know, I call on you a lot. I wish I could call on you every round. It would be amazing. So, Alaria Swiftwind is going to join the fray early. One, two, three, here. Let's see, which way does the mage tower shoot its thing? A way I don't want it to, of course. Okay, so she's going to stand there. She gets to summon her cat with her, like so. And then she's going to rain some arrows right on this tile. She gets to turn them any which way she likes. Uh, we're going to turn them... To bite the healers. Hmm. To bite some of the healers. I think I think it's best that what does this look like? I do that. Okay. We're gonna do it this way. This and this. Cool. Alaria, you've been used to the best of your ability. Mage Tower is gonna go on purple here. Mage Tower is going to bring the lightning bolt. Wait, can I, can I finish this off? Yes. And yes. Okay, let me, I got to think this through here. So, hmm. Just got to think it through. Where I've been making mistakes is not thinking this damage through. Oh, I see. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. I have an idea plan. 
I have an idea plan. Mage Tower, Lightning Bolt. Right here. Okay. Then. This has to get finished off. Oh. That's fun. Okay. Archers here. Well, it doesn't matter. I got to finish it off, so we'll put it there. Artillery. We'll shoot here and here. A couple of little pieces of damage. Yeah. All right. Now we're doing some things. I'm not upgrading anything, which is kind of a bummer, but okay. Footman. Going to march onto this tile right here. Malik, I'm just going to use him to position him. Now, green has to come back in, so I'm not going to stand on a green tile. Um, one. Well, no, it's fine. Two. For now. Uh, it's not going to use any abilities yet. I've got a semblance of a plan. Yes, I have a plan. Okay. So, we've played our hero cards. It is now time to destroy some towers. Just that for boards, that one. Thank you, Valeria. Hope that wasn't too early, but I'm sure it was. One crystal earned. Your bank to mine. Not sad about that. Board trays move. This one first, this one slides twice. One, two. Why I was not worried about this one. Then spend crystals. No, then pick up power and hero cards. That one, that one, and these two. Don't forget the soldiers, footmen can go on top of any other tower and vice versa. So other towers can go on top of them as well. Okay. Spend crystals. I have. 11 to spend. Um, I should probably spend three, at least six. At least spend six on some up uh, level two towers. So I'd like an adept and a marksman. Then two and two. A couple of level one towers. Um, militia here. I can pick it up. And I like the versatility of the bombard towers. Okay, spent crystals, spawn new hordes. Three of them are coming into play. Yuck. One, this is number one, two, and three, by the way, in that order. So we've got a portal already. Can be hit by level ones or twos. All right, we've got a new icon called um, Sharpshooter, Dead Eye. One of those two. If it's not, oops, if it's not covered at the end of the uh, my play phase, it's going to deal a damage to all heroes adjacent to it. And we got some healers up there. What do we have up here? We have some no magic damage allowed on that tile, but it's a slow mover, so we can give that some time. I fully intend to deal with this this round. Uh, and hopefully not be adjacent to that, that tile. So it says, Deadeye. After a horde moves, if it has any Deadeye icons on it that are not covered, all heroes adjacent to it take a damage. So 
yeah, I might take a damage if I sit there. Unless I sit there with my protection ability, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay. Malik. Why don't you do the thing you were going to do when you did the thing you did last time? Yes. Malik is going to go yeah, there and swing that big hammer at him. right here, covering two spaces, which allows him to place damage, two damage adjacent right here. That was the plan the whole time. All right. Oh, I have to switch colors out. Uh, green has to come in. I think orange was the bad man out here. Orange, you are the color that sits on the bench. Okay. Is there a way? Yep. There's a great way. This adept tower. I might, hmm, I'm thinking about taking out this portal anyway. Not a lot of damage on it. Three, six, eight. Purple. I'll lose my artillery if I do that. Bombard, maybe. What do I do? No orange this round. So no orange, that's here, here, and that's here. Well, I definitely have to think about this. Maybe what I do is to not waste. So many towers. He only covered up two. Is that right? He could cover up three. Let's see, was there another spot he could do three? No. All right, we're leaving it. Unfortunately, leaving it. It's okay. I feel like there could have been something better I could have done with that. Um, that marksman is no melee. That's no fun. Mage tower is not the direction I need it in. I think we have to ignore that portal this turn and maybe go at this tile here. So, how do I best do this? It's the healers, though. Well, they're just going to scoot one. They're just going to scoot one. I got to be smart. Got to do things differently. Um, Archer Tower on purple. Right here. Gonna rain some arrows right there. Going to. There's only one healer on that file, so could just take it out. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Guess I can shoot this. Archer here, gonna do some arrows right here since there are no magic anyway. Artillery here. 
Going to light it up. Damage there. I mean, we don't want to ignore this top, uh, this horde, right? Cool. Adept. Lightning bolt. Yeah. This way. Militia facing this way. The lone man marches to victory here. We will upgrade the mage tower to an adept. A footman to a knights. And a bombard tower. To an artillery. I think that's going to do it for this round. Yep, I'm going to do it for this round. So we're going to call that good. Next thing we do is destroy horde trays. There's going to be. Wow, I really want to. I really want to call in a spell, but I think it's still too early. I think it's still too early to call in a spell. Uh, this will get hit. Not worried about it. So let's destroy horde trays. These two. I take a damage for being on it when it's destroyed. And that's going to be bring me two crystals this round. One and two, don't mind if I do. Advanced Horde Trace. This one, oh, I'm taking another damage because of the Sharpshooter's Deadeye. Darn it. Okay, well, the way that goes. Oh, boy. I just realized something not too slick. This one moves here. This one moves here. Pick up tower and hero cards. I mean, I have some good firepower next round, but I just realized something. They're going to get a little close to home. How do I deal with that? Ah. Okay. Okay. Uh, two crystals is what I earned. Now I get to spend my crystals. Well, I think I think I spend it on let's see, I have an artillery, marksman, militia, adept, archer, knights, artillery. so I need another marksman for three crystals. Or do I just take an archer and leave a crystal? Because it's going to get destroyed. So that, I'll take an archer tower and leave a crystal. I'm going to use it on this, I'm sure. Spend crystals. Lock out a color. Orange has to come back in. I think I just get rid of green this time. The purple has not rotated out. I think it's too powerful. I think this will be the round that Ignis makes his appearance. It is now time to spawn new hordes. It can't go here, here, so it has to go here. That's my big oops. So this goes right here. This one going right here. Ooh, it's a lot of specific damage I have to deal. Like a lot of specific damage I have to deal. 
this one. More anti-magic on this side. All right, not a big deal. Play power and hero cards. I have lots of them. I think Malik, or there's no I think, Malik has to um, get in there and recover. Malik has to get here, recover. Well, he doesn't have to recover. He can use his special ability. And he recovers next turn. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's try to earn some crystals and use his ability and, 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 and. Okay, here we go. Malik's going here. He's going to swing that special hammer at his here. Gaining protection till the end of the turn. So no dead eye. And when the tower blows up, I don't take damage. Like, all kinds of stuff. And we've got, let's see here, is there a way on orange to face this that does what I want it to do? Yes. Put this adept right here. Lightning bolt. It is facing this way for these three. Most excellent. And I think, I think we have to do this. I think we have to lose the artillery, but it's going to deal maximum damage here. So I'm not too sad. Artillery, fire. One here, two here, one here. Now. Uh, no green. Just make sure no green. Okay. Now I have the knights. What's the, what's the best way to do this? Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Oh, artillery is destroyed. Whenever it hits a portal. Adept, apologize, but we need your magic. It is this orientation here. Good. Knights, marching. Now, I don't know if the order matters. If I put these here first, then I can put this on top of it, but Knights are going to march onto these healers. Mm. Yeah, I can't put anything else. It'll just heal that one damage. I could. I could. I could destroy this with the knights. All that good. Lose those three towers and just focus fire here for a little bit. Oh, I used Earthquake to gain protection. I think I have to do that actually now that I'm looking at the board because I have no other way. Yep. I have to. I'll lose that. It'll heal, but that's what happens. Okay. I lose the Knight's Tower. Both towers are destroyed on that spot. Oh well. We press forward for the kingdom. <laughs> uh. Purple and orange. Oh, green's locked out. Yeah. Okay. Do orange here. Archers. Rain your arrows. Right there works for me. Let's 
So any you know, I'm not gonna do that. Apologize, archers. If I could rewind your arrows, I would, but I don't have a rewind arrow button. Maybe in editing I'll figure that out. Do it this way. Artillery on purple. Nope, that's why I didn't do it. We're leaving the arrows. And now I'll just edit out that I said I wasn't going to. <laughs> uh, fun game. Just like that. But I still am going to hit that with my artillery. Or am I just going to go on an upgrading frenzy? I think I'm going to go on an upgrading frenzy. Oh, Malik is used. Marksman. Upgrades to sharpshooters. Um, archers. Upgrade to marksmen. Artillery. Upgrade to howitzer. That's going to be some heavy damage. Militia. Since we just lost a tower of militiamen. Footmen. Okay. Destroy. Horde. Trace. One, two, three. Goodbye. Portal one's taken out. We're winning, ladies and gentlemen. We are not losing. I take no damage because I used my protection ability. That's tray number two. He stays there. Tray number three. No crystals for portals, so I earn two crystals. All right. Pick up. Oh, uh, no, advance first. This advances. Oh, it heals before it advances. Because there are healers showing, it completely heals. Then this advances. Then this advances. Now pick up. So goodbye, artillery. Goodbye, knights. Goodbye, adept. Archers. Adept. Definitely want to upgrade to a wizard tower this round. Uh, spend crystals. I am good on archers. I'm not good on artillery. So I'm also not good on soldiers. There's a new portal popping out of here. Holding down the fort. So I'm low on soldiers, low on artillery. I think I'm just going to go ahead and purchase another footman for three crystals. And then we move on to the next round of spawning boards. It comes in here. I get bumped. Um, I'm just going to keep swapping between green and orange, it looks like. Purple. Oh, Malik doesn't want to let go. Purple seems too important. So going to take me on to green. Uh, I think Malik will bounce to here. And the thing is, lots and lots of healers. What does this portal look like? I don't know, but I'm guessing deadly icons. Uh, no, no deadly icons, just dead eye healers and a non magic damage or non melee damage rather. Okay, and number three. Is some big guys and some healers to back them up. Okay, pick up my mallet card. This is 100% bona fide. The turn I have to move mallet and recover. Do I have enough between my heroes? I think so. <laughs> this one's gonna be tough. I do have the howitzer, and we are locking out orange, bringing back green.
let's let's use uh, Ignis right now. Bring in the flames, Ignis. He has three movement. One, two. He's gonna go here. Uh, where can he do the worst damage? Well, let's have him go here. No, here to cover up some heals. He's gonna put down his three damage icon on these two healers because if he covers exactly two monsters, then he gets to place single damage on each adjacent horde. This damage is magic damage, so he has to put it on this if possible. It's not melee. And he'll go ahead and throw it on this healer. Oh, uh, you know what? This one way over here by itself. It makes more sense. Oh, spells. Yep. Definitely using spells this turn. Because we're in trouble. Sharpshooter. I like the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter on green here. Sharpshooter is cool because they can pick three targets. Single monster targets. And pop them. Healer. 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 Now I picked that one because I think I have a shape that'll fit that better. Howitzer is a must right here. Lots of firepower with that howitzer. Three here. All right, I've got this tower taken care of, or that horde taken care of. Two damage here. And just start closing it in. Two damage here. Okay. Hmm. Well, I thought I had this taken care of. Um, what is my best way here, green? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. Green right here. Mage Blast. Lightning Bolt. One, two, three, four. I'm definitely running out of running out of options right now. Shoot. Okay. Malik, going to recover. Go here for four damage, and then recover all his hit points and his abilities. Yikes. Marksman here. Arrows incoming. Here. Nope. Nope, no arrows incoming there. The arrows are incoming here. This one has to be stopped. This one not so much, but this one does. Footman. March to the tower. To the horde. But I keep calling towers. The extra one doesn't get placed. Now I can upgrade. Purple and green only.
Well. Wow. It's a tough, another tough mission. Um, yeah, if I didn't finish this off, then his damage would be wasted. So um, not the, not this damage, but the damage that he's covering would be wasted. We are going to... Oh. Okay, I can take this one out too. Archer Tower Arm, purple. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I won't be upgrading anything, but... Yeah, it's fine. This way. Footman. This way. March. One, two. Okay. Whew. Wowzers. Destroy horde trays. Two of them. Get out of here. Thank you, Ignis. Two crystals earned. This is, uh, get me scared on this side. That is a fact. Two crystals earned. Advanced horde trays. Um, this one leapfrogs because I'm standing uh, still on this one. Which means I got to jump ship and kill that one. Advance. Advance. Now this has to be hit by level two towers. Oops. Pick up towers and hero cards. All right, well, at least Malik is ready to go. Like he's full health, got his abilities. So I'm not too worried about that. Spells, I keep forgetting about. I need to not. Uh, spend crystals. Yes, I need a mage tower. Not sir. No, I need a bombard tower. Okay. Spawn new hordes. Number one. Not fun. Number two. I mean, the game's fun. It's not fun when I'm staring down the barrel of losing. Although it still is very fun. Number three. Ooh, wow. I've never seen so many dead eye. This is Trouble City. <laughs> Can I? Destroy two trays, a couple of trays here, and slow this one down. All that needs to happen tonight on Kingdom Rush. Okay. How do I just go at this? First, greens out, oranges in. Is there more purple than anything else? Is that why? One, two, three, four purple. One, two, three, four green. One, two, three orange. Huh. Okay. Malik. Hammer Fury. What are you going to do? Okay, let's start with let's start with Thunderbolt spell. It says now I don't have the actual Symbols for this. So I'm going to use maybe Lilith for damage symbols. 
Thunderbolt says, place two damage on a horde, any orientation, and then um, then put a single damage on each adjacent, each horde adjacent to the target. So this should is the obvious choice for the first target of this spell, Thunderbolt. Then this lonely hero or this lonely healer gets a damage. It's adjacent. This speedy icon way up here gets a damage. And anti magic, so I can't cover that. Let's just cover this lonely guy here. So that uses that spell. It's gone. Just wondering if there's a limit one spell per turn. Um, I'm gonna, well, let me see if I can find it in the rulebook fast enough. Under spells. You may use any spells you have. Aha! Um. And we get to use them all, and I'm going to, most likely. Next up. I don't know why I just don't unload on that power, or on this thing, so I don't lose towers with a spell. Probably smart. No green. So let's bring in Magnus Spellbane. Covering six damage if he comes into play. So let's do it. Can't use his special because I need more damage out of him. Magnus. One, two, three. Or yeah. One, two, three. And then he just gets to place two damage. He'll place it here. His special ability is if he's on a building site, he can place two damage onto um Another two damage on target horde. Okay. Malik. This has to die. What I'm standing on has to die, as does this. As does a whole lot of stuff over here. <laughs> That's the trick, I guess. The depth tower. Let's see if I can just make some moves happen over here. Lightning bolts happening right here. Is that this better? Yes. Over three out of four that way. Oh, 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 oh. I see why it has to be there. I have all melee in my hand. I'm shooting this one. Then my archers and marksman tower. This one. One here. I got to I got to get back to this. 
How am I going to handle this? I got to handle it. Howitzer is in the best spot there. Lay down some fire. Free damage. Has to go this way. Let's do this. Then he's got a couple of damage coming out the side. Two here, any two here, okay. I'm gonna upgrade before I forget. I'm gonna upgrade this bombard tower to an artillery so that I have another one next round. Um, how do I do this? One, two, one, two, three. I need one more damage on that, and I. One, two, three, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Well, I can do it. Sharpshooter. One, two, and three. Let him have it. Footman, take it home. So, do I upgrade the archer to a marksman, or do I upgrade the footman to a knight's? I think I upgrade an archer to a marksman. Footman. Go here, march to victory. We're destroying two, darn close. Oh, I used Malik. No, I didn't use Malik. Hold the boat. I will go ahead and use Malik. This will do a thing. He's going to use his special ability, Earthquake. Right here. Gives him protection. Let's not use Earthquake. Let's use his basic attack. It's better that way. Oh. Nope. Sticking with the protection. I just, I just saw it. Can't. Can't or I lose game. Here. Dealing three damage. One. Two, three, and an adjacent horde. One, two, three. This thing cannot move fast or I lose. So I'll upgrade the archer to a marksman. Really wish I had that fancy tray they have. Okay. Destroy horde traits. This one and this one are gone. My hero friends have all been used. Two crystals.
One's going to spawn right at the exit. Okay, those are gone. Um, advance. Does not advance, so this one leaps frogs like this. Oh, well, this one would go first. So this one slides here. Oh, this one would move here first, then that slides. Then this slides once, moves twice. Now I'm in a pickle. If I wasn't in a pickle before, I'm in one now. Spawn new ports here. Let's spawn one here for fun. Let's spawn the last portal here. This is the first time I think I've ever had the entire board full of monsters. Oh, we don't spawn them yet. We know we're swapping out orange for green. So before I look at that, I should have spent my two crystals first, which looking at all of this, I need to buy a mage tower. That was no question. So did that a little bit funky and out of order. Yikes. Um. <laughs> well then. I used Earthquake. That's locked down. See covering. Four. Duck. There, there, two damage there. Green and purple. I have eight hit points on my tower, or my kingdom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three need to be destroyed at least. Ooh, brutal, brutal, brutal. Malik is uh, shifting gears a little bit here. I'm going to use him first. Going here. Swinging his massive basic attack hammer. Here. Only covering two, which gives me two extras to put on an adjacent horde. Which will be here. This has to be hit by level three towers, so I might as well use the howitzer. Just like this. On purple. Three damage here. Three damage here. Two damage here. Next thing we have to cover is just this, which I don't have. Well, I do have a level three tower for that. It destroys my howitzer. Do I have any other level three towers? I don't. Okay, I need to upgrade. Okay, uh, back over here on the left side, artillery. They want magic. Because of this. So I'm going to hit it with the level two adept tower. Right there. A little bit of magic never hurt anybody. Except these three guys. The healer, good. Oh, there was a healer there. This is gone. So it's going to go here. No more healers now. Next thing I have to make sure to cover is these double movers. Uh, I can cover one of them.
Let's deal with this. Uh, it's on green. Sharpshooters get to put three here anywhere they wish. Since it's the only thing I have that can hit the third portal. All right, sharpshooters, let it fly. Try that again. One, two. Cover Deadeye here. Make sure he doesn't deal any more random damage. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That marksman has to hit this. Has to hit these three. Thus destroying the marksman. Okay. I, I don't know how I'm getting out of this. Marksman again. These three spaces. Destroys the marksman. Militia or footman tower here. We'll destroy that. Marching to defeat this portal. Cannot let these portals escape. It's instant loss. Purple. Mage Tower. Mages, do your job. There you go. I think I have to waste some Footman here. Artillery. Oh. Yes, artillery. Get on some more fire. Cover up some more of these speedy walkers here. Well, it doesn't ma it doesn't matter. You'll see why in a minute. Can I get an extra damage here. Playing down some footmen, which will lock this in place. Keep it from moving entirely. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Well, let's just play it out and see what happens. Oh, two soldiers marched onto the board tray. Destroy this one. And this one, go boom. Malik takes a damage because he was on that tray when it was destroyed. I get one crystal out of that deal. Um, advanced horde trays. Well, this can let's let's do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven damage. I have one hit point left in the kingdom. This doesn't move because it has somebody on it. This moves once. Leapfrogs to move twice because of the speedy icons. Once. Twice. Once I have to move. I'll move here. This moves here. Pick up tower and hero cards. Okay. This, 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 not enough to just to deal with what is going on. 
I don't have any more level three um, powers. Marksman, footman, adept. What does it tell you about this game that I don't succeed and I keep playing it and loving it? It's really good. That's what it tells you. And you if you were wondering what it tells you. Okay. For some reason I do keep forgetting my spells. Malik is way out of position. Oh, these go away. If it didn't finish off the tile, they are stricken down by the monsters. They just hold them at bay. Okay. Maybe I win with the spells. Malik, I'm gonna go here. And Malik and use hammer time to recover an ability and take an extra action. He's gonna use earthquake to gain protection till end of turn. Lightning bolt spell it says put four single damage. They all have to touch each other. So I'm just going to use Malik's thing. They're all touching each other. Then Rain of Fire, put two and one. So a two, doesn't matter, a one. Okay. Reinforcements. This is great. I get to put two soldiers. Um, oh. Okay, I do have to think this out though. Because they're gonna heal, dog on it. I had to swap orange back in. Or green back in. Okay, I do have to think this out. Here. Artillery, I, I do have a chance to win this. There, and there for what it's worth. Oh, healers, healers did me in, I'm pretty sure. Mage Tower. Here. Okay, here's what I got. I have reinforcements. I can place two soldiers on different hordes. And then I have a footman, which will also lock down another. The problem is, I believe before advancing is when healing happens. Um, so for example, I place, place the footman here. Oh, Malik, why did you have to be out of position? We could have won this. I place the footman here. Well, wait a minute. Oh, footman here. Oh, yep. Okay, so here's the deal. Footman will march here and a couple of healers. Then I play reinforcements and I could do this and this. The problem 
is okay so here's how here's what would happen i would destroy horde trace i would destroy this one and this one so let's go ahead and do that okay i take no damage because i use prote uh protection spell and then this is destroyed as long as i can use spells on it it's destroyed then advance horde trace now if healing goes off now the problem is it heals all of this damage and he moves so let's see when healing triggers oh that's in the scenario book When a horde activates, before checking anything else on it. Uh, when a horde activates, which is right now, advanced horde trace. So it would heal all of this. This one doesn't heal because all of the healers are covered. So what I need to figure out is with what I had. That was the healer? No, that's just a fast mover. Yeah, there was no way to get how, uh, artillery damage on this and this tile, right? If I turned it this way, it would be this and this tile. The problem here was the, how spread out all the healers were, and I needed to cover as many healers as possible. Okay, so as it is, this doesn't move, this doesn't move, this heals and escapes for the loss. So that's how close I was to winning this time. Um, and again, that's as long as spells can target portals. I know heroes can't, but spells did not say that they can't. So that's what I got. Another scenario, another loss, that's how it goes. Uh, we're just gonna go on. Scenario number five. One day, we're going to defeat this thing. Thanks so much for showing up today on the live stream. I do appreciate it. It's always a lot of fun. Like I said, it's not, uh, I haven't cracked the code in this game yet, figured out how to make this happen, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna get through all 10 of these, no matter what, win, lose, or lose. If you're watching this on YouTube, please give it a thumbs up if you like, like it. Uh, let me know if I got any of the rules wrong in the comments. I'm really curious about spells on portals, if you happen to know that. Um, Subscribe to this channel if you like this content. I try to kind of go through an entire campaign of one game and then move on to another game, go through the campaign of that. I have some more games coming up. But I'm really loving the story and what's going on here. So uh, thanks again for watching. And as always, we'll see you at the next boardroom meeting.